Today we're going to take a look at this speaker, which is powered by water. It's literally charging right now. How cool is that? It's Earth Day today, guys, and I wanted to try and save energy around the house in the most interesting way possible. And this is it. And I'm doing this as part of the energy challenge, which me and a bunch of other content creators are doing. They're trying to save energy in unique ways by connecting devices and adding smart home stuff around the house. And if you want to see any of their videos in this energy challenge, I will leave a link below to a playlist and a website where you can take a look. This is my entry into that energy challenge. The Shower Power by Ampere. Water is one of the most important natural resources on the planet, and now it not only keeps us alive, but it can power your speaker too. This is the Ampere Shower Power Speaker, and it, alongside with its internal battery, can be 100% powered by just water. But in terms of tech, it also features a 45mm speaker in a cylindrical design to give it a more even sound, along with Bluetooth 5.1 and the ability to pair two together for stereo sound. And there's a pro version too, which even has RGB lighting and water monitoring capabilities. With electricity becoming more and more expensive, it's about time we tested some tech that challenges the status quo. So now you know what it is, let me show you how it works. The speaker actually comes with its own generator which goes on your shower. Inside the generator there's a little wheel, and when the water is forced over it, it spins that wheel, and that in turn uses science to convert that spinning into dark magic, also known as electricity, which in turn then charges the battery speaker, giving you power to listen to up to 16 hours of music on a full charge. Installing it couldn't be simpler. It's super, super easy, even for morons like myself when it comes to plumbing. There are two things that I won't do in DIY, electrics and plumbing. I'll do anything else. I'll plasterboard, I will saw some wood, use a hammer, a chainsaw, power tools, I love it. But I won't touch electrics and I won't touch plumbing. But it was surprisingly easy. There's a few ways you can install the speaker, such as the end of the hose just before the shower head, but I've chosen to install it just underneath the on-off valve before it gets to the hose. All I had to do was unscrew the shower hose, screw the shower power generator on, add the adapter on the bottom, and then screw back on the hose. Turning on the shower, the speaker powered up immediately, but there was a problem. I had a leak from the top connector, so I removed everything, used the sealing tape and the extra gasket that was included in the box, applying it around the thread on the shower, putting it back together, turned it on, and it worked perfectly with no leaks. There were a bunch of tutorials from Ampere on how to use the sealing tape, so I wasn't really worried at all, but this was a win. So I'm sat now in the bath, and all I have to do is pull this lever and... It starts working. It's literally charging right now. How cool is that? I'm not sure you can hear me with that on there. That is so cool. But let's listen to how it sounds in the bathroom with the shower going. I mean, it's as you would expect in a room with tiles and porcelain. It's a bit echoey, but actually the speaker is pretty good and it's loud enough for me to hear all of the music over the noise of the shower quite well. I'm not sure how much you can hear mine. In case you're wondering, I'm sat in the bath because where I've put it, as you can see, is the right height for my... Uh, gentleman sausage and that type of content is only available on my OnlyFans. But the thing is, putting aside the whole shower element, the fact that now I can sit in the bath and relax and have a lovely glass of red wine whilst I have meditation music playing directly above my head is bliss.
you might just have realised you're watching a grown man drink red wine in the bath. And that's okay. It's okay. Now, because it's removable, it does mean that if I'm going out and I want to take a speaker with me, I've always got one fully charged. I can simply twist it open, take it with me, and I'm good to go. It's even got a little rubber bit on the bottom so you can stand it up and it won't budge around very easy. And as a speaker itself outside of the shower, it's actually very good. <laughs> I think the range is actually very good on it. The clarity is pretty good across the board. Could do with maybe a slight more bass, but considering this is something that I plug into my shower to charge, it's very good. It's definitely on par with some of the better speakers I've tried for sure. So it's undeniable that the concept of this and the sound works brilliantly, but there are a few little things that I do need to criticize. And the first is the fact that this is just Bluetooth. Now that's okay, but if you're living in a large family, it can get a little bit annoying. It might pair up to the wrong phone when it turns on, or you've got to repair it to a different phone. It's not an issue per se, it's just a little bit of annoyance. Potentially AirPlay may have solved this. But what I've done is I've paired it up to an Amazon Echo device so that I can ask it to play music before I even get in the shower. I can then turn the shower on, it'll start playing music automatically from this. So that does two things for me. One, it solves that problem of Bluetooth and have one central device always connected to it whenever it turns on. And secondly, it makes it a bit smarter. Potentially that would have been another thing they could have done is built in something like Amazon Echo voice service. Hmm. The second criticism I have is the parts they use, which are all plastic. Now it worked fine, that's undeniable. And with the addition of obviously the tape and the gaskets, I can customize it and get that seal perfect. But because they're plastic and the screw and the thread is plastic itself, there is a chance that you could over tighten this when installing it. It's unlikely, but there's a chance you could and the plastic obviously isn't that durable. However, all is forgiven when you realize that each shower power contains 16 plastic bottles that have been recovered from the ocean. Another massive win for the environment here. Overall though, I think this is a fantastic solution of getting music and a speaker directly in your bathroom and one that can connect to a wide range of devices as well. It saves energy and it's just cool. The point is, it's always got charged. It's being charged via the water. So I don't have to mess about getting a Bluetooth speaker, charging it elsewhere, then taking it into the bathroom every time I want to use it. Perhaps I've already gotten in the bath. No one wants to get out of the bath again to go and get a speaker to listen to whale song when they're trying to have a lovely, nice lavender bath. This solves that problem because it's always in the bathroom. It's always going to be charged. We have lots of problems in the UK with things like regulations, right? We can't have plug sockets within three meters of any water source. And that puts out many, 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 many people in the UK from having a speaker charging solution within their bathrooms. Yes, you could have things like wall mounted ones that potentially are water resistant, that wire directly into the mains, but that's a faff and who wants to do that? You have to get electricians in to do that. This is the solution to many people's problems, especially to those that don't want to have to charge a speaker elsewhere and bring it into the bathroom. In fact, because this can then be taken out of the bathroom, it replaces the need to have that speaker entirely. So this gets top marks. But this has awoken another question. Why don't we use this type of tech around the house more often? I mean, we have taps in the bathroom, the kitchen, a couple of bathrooms if you have them. We have the rain gutters that have rain coming down. Why don't we use hydroelectric on a smaller scale everywhere? 
because surely that would amount to a much greater use. I mean, look, listen, if it can power my speaker and charge this, then surely it could do things like charge my phone or power an LED light for a while. Even if it alleviates a little bit of energy usage, surely we should be using this type of tech elsewhere. And the thing is, because this is just a screw-on device, potentially Ampere could bring out extra accessories for it that you could pop into the little turbine that's on the tap already and do something with it. I don't know what it would be, but it definitely, definitely could be possible. And I hope they do. I hope they bring out more stuff that can utilize the little turbine that sits on the shower head. I hope they bring out a smaller version for things like taps. I'd love to see that kind of thing. I think there's a real opportunity here and Ampere have absolutely come up with something incredible here. And the thing is, it's just £80, which is not unreasonable for a decent sounding wireless speaker, especially one that's unlimited usage for free. Absolutely top marks for Ampere here. This thing is cool. Guys, if you want to see any more of the Energy Challenge episodes by other content creators, I'll leave a link to the playlist below so you can take a look at their episodes. I'm sure they've probably gone into slightly more complicated uh, things like home automations and stuff, but I thought I would do something slightly more unusual in how to save energy, and this was my choice. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and notification bell, and I'll see you back for another episode of Studio Reviews soon.